Good morning, everyone. This is the one going forward. Forward, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's working, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so my name is um, uh, Diego González. Um, I am working at the United Nations Global Service Center um, based um, out of our, our office in the south of Italy, in Brindisi. Um, basically, what we do is to provide um, support in geospatial activities, mainly to peacekeeping missions and political missions in the field, but also to other UN entities and, and organizations. We work together with um, our counterparts in, the, in those missions and also with our colleagues in, in New York as well. Um, today, um, I'm going to talk about one of the main programs or uh, pillars, one of the, the main initiatives that we are um, developing at the moment. Um, we call it UN Maps. And, um, well, you will, you will discover why um, in, a, in a few minutes. Um, this initiative um, is related specifically to open data. Um, and, um, and the idea is to, again, to provide support in relation to geospatial services to uh, all our clients and end users. Um, okay, so let's go. Um, so this is basically the, pro the problem statement that we have. That's, that's, um, can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Okay. So that's a real case. Um, it's a, a rural, rural area in Somalia. And this is what Google is giving us. So as you can imagine, it's open. Perfect. So as you can, as you can imagine, um, our colleagues in the field missions and um, any other users um, won't be able to work on a day-to-day -day, day -day operations uh, with this data. Um, and this is a problem that we have throughout all the different uh, missions and areas, and areas where we work. Um, so we need to do something, something about this. But that's not the only problem. The other problem is the information related to, specifically, to the political boundaries, administrative boundaries, and even the spelling of um, villages, towns, and capitals. As you can imagine, we cannot rely on a private company um, to tell the UN um, how to spell correctly a one town or where the international boundaries are located um, because of obvious political and diplomatic um, connotations. And even with OpenStreetMap, we cannot rely um, entirely, fully, um, on the information provided by the volunteers. The, the reason, again, is for the connotations that, are, that we have with the data in terms of uh, uh, political or diplomatic issues. So that's why we have created UN Maps. UN Maps is um, a constellation of uh, services and products that are meant um, to solve some of these issues. Um, we have a series of uh, base maps. Uh, one of them is the street map with uh, specific flavors, um, with different, different visualization, is the, the base map that we put in the background of our applications. The same happens with the um, image map, with the latest um, high resolution imagery that we are add, um, and also the terrain, the terrain map. So we have a full-fledged constellation of, of services um, that are feeding all the, the applications and the services and the solutions that we provide. Um, at the same time, we have what we call the globe, um, which is a 3D visualization um, of those terrain features. 
and also the operational map with all the UN related um, information or data that is absolutely necessary for us to conduct or to carry out the operations on a on a day to day basis so for example the um, the location of blue helmets or the exact location and name of a UN camp in a remote location. Something that um, other commercial providers are not, not able to give us. Um, the last two services that we um, have packaged within uh, UN maps are the direction service, which is basically a, a routing um, service, but we add information related to um, the accessibility of the roads, the security and safety of, of those roads. Um, so we provide an added value to our users with the data coming from, from, the, from the field. And the same with the search. Um, it's a geocoding service, um, which is fed by all the information provided by our users and, um, and our colleagues in the field with the exact location of our operational activities. The last uh, point there, um, Maps on Demand, is a web-based um, tool or solution application in which we are empowering non-GIS specialists uh, to create dynamically their own maps with uh, just a very easy to use interface with a couple of clicks of a button. Um, they are able to create on the fly from the latest um, data available topographic maps, um, urban maps, and uh, what we call site maps, which are specific to a, a small area at large scale. That's a few examples. Um, that's the global coverage that we have for the base map, the, the street map. That's the, the standard uh, design, but we also have um, all done with vector tiles, um, different flavors, the, the light gray and the, and the dark gray. Um, one of the important activities that we are adding within the UN maps is the combination um, within the UN Open GIS initiative under that framework, uh, we are working with the, the Japanese uh, mapping agency as well to create a fully open source, a, a set of base maps in a vector tile technology um, using different plugins, um, but obviously for the, <clears throat> for the 2D and 3D visualization with, uh, with map library and um, a map box, um, Tipicanu, uh, Mapnik for the styling, um, etc. Um, the idea is to have at the end of this process a hybrid approach so that we are able to consume those services with fully open source technology and also for some use cases with also um, ESRI technology, so fully compatible. Um, the what we call the United Nations um, Vector Tile Toolkit. That's one of the, the examples that we have. And um, that's the 3D visualization with all the building footprints. Um, with regards to the, to the map related to the satellite imag imagery, um, so what we do in order to provide an added value to our users is every high resolution image from satellite or from, from drones that we purchase or that we acquire, we add it into our specific mosaic that air rasters and, um, and data sets. Um, and we put those on top seamlessly of other publicly available um, uh, image um, services. And we have obviously a hybrid version with, uh, with the vector information, with vector tiles. Um, also, we have the, as I mentioned, the terrain map with all the physical features, with the hill shade, the contour lines, and um, and also the operational map that I mentioned earlier, with in this case all the operational data information um, that is very important for the planning um, of the activities and carrying out the activities on a daily basis um, of our 
both uniform personnel and civilians. And um, here we have a, a huge wealth of data uh, going all the way from um, security-related activities, uh, logistics, um, everything related to the, the deployment of the, the assets and uh, troops and the location of camps, boundaries, um, etc. So with this constellation of products, what we do, what we intend to do at the moment is to provide services within the UN um, in support of their activities, both in the field and also in the office. And at the same time, we call it as a foundation system, foundational system, because we are um, providing information or geo-enabling um, the certain number of corporate or enterprise applications. Like, for example, this one is called UnitedWare, um, which is a sort of uh, common operational picture with, of the situational awareness, putting all the information together within a, the same framework for better collaboration of the different mission components. Or um, adding information to the environmental application within the UN, having all the, um, the indicators, the environmental indicators of the, of the activities that are carried out within the, the UN missions. Um, we are also feeding information to this other application, which is called um, Unite Frame, is the, the field remote infrastructure monitoring, is basically an IoT, IoT um, application, getting the data in real time from thousands of sensors in, um, in field missions, and to be able to, um, to work and take decisions. We have also developed um, another application based on UN maps as a background. We call it a VOC, or the Virtual Operation Center, um, and it is done with um, an immersive experience with virtual reality and mixed reality, with uh, HoloLens and Oculus, um, having all the information within a 3D immersive uh, environment. And we are obviously also adding information to publicly available websites. In this case, the map there is what we call clear map, which is the authoritative information, the data set related to the boundaries and the locations coming from the UN. And we have a few examples there. So how is this done? How is it possible um, that the UN, with limited resources um, in terms of funding and staffing, are able to cope up with uh, giants like uh, Google Maps or, or Apple Maps? Well, obviously, we are talking here about open data, and we are leveraging and contributing extensively to OpenStreetMap. But just fetching the data from OpenStreetMap is not enough for us because in some cases the community is focusing on um, other areas. That's why um, we have created our very own community of mappers. We call it UN Mappers, in which we are um, bringing together um, new contributors, um, new people, new volunteers. Um, we call for activations so that they can map together with a specific editing guidelines within OpenStreetMap into the areas, our areas of interest. Um, at the moment, we have um, main, we've been mainly working in five different missions. Um, the acronyms of the missions are not important, but the, the countries are. Uh, those are in Somalia, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in uh, Mali, in Central African Republic, and also in the border area between Sudan and South Sudan. That's the, the main area of, um, of interest in which we are mapping. So how we are doing this? Um, we have our set of contributors, um, the UN, UN personnel, internal UN, UN uh, colleagues, and that are feeding or fetching data um, related to the UN activities. And at the same time, we have the UN mappers community um, adding the data in OpenStreetMap. All together, 
combining, working collaboratively, um, we um, are able to fetch that data in separate databases um, in our data center in Brindisi and Valencia, and um, having daily diffs so that we can fetch this, this data continuously. And that's the one that is feeding all the, the services and products that I mentioned earlier. So the UN Mappers community is very diverse. Um, there are people from all over the world. Um, we have people fr internally from UN, um, even blue helmets, civilian personnel, uh, UN agencies, uh, funds and programs, local communities, and volunteers also mapping remotely. And we work in three different steps. The first step is, is to learn. We have just um, officially launched the um, UN Mappers or uh, UN Maps Learning Hub um, based on uh, Moodle is publicly available and we are adding content um, related to OSM um, uh, training material. And we are hoping to uh, bring it together and bring more, more people there. So we have um, um, trainings that we organize, we provide uh, specific certificates, etc. Um, we, are, we have actually an internship program. Um, one of your students was, was there with us. And, um, and it's been very successful. The second one is the, to map, obviously, together. We are actively working um, with the Humanitarian Open Street Map Tasking Manager. We add the projects there uh, to draw the attention to the community to specifically uh, map in those areas. We organize mapathons um, and uh, guidelines and um, and tutorials. And uh, you are obviously able to join this community. Um, we have our own outreach um, community. We have a website of the mappers.un.org um, and you will be able to uh, join the community. We have our um, social media and all the, to bring more people and collaborate better. Um, in this virtual operations center that I mentioned, um, with the HoloLens, the immersive experience, we even have um, created a specific um, fork of the Street Complete application, open source, just specifically to um, work on the building type and the building footprints. We have the, the color, the roof shape, and that's fantastic uh, to do field work and to know exactly what's the, the type of, uh, of the building that, we, that is needed for the applications. Um, this is another example um, of um, the activities that we do. In this case, we call for an activation in uh, Mogadishu in Somalia. And just in a few um, couple of weeks, we um, brought thousands and thousands of building footprints um, that are extremely valuable and important for the, for the operations that we, we carry out. Um, and this is absolutely fantastic. Um, and look at this. This is the reality, how the map is evolving um, from the satellite image and compared to what Google Maps is offering. And this is what we are doing in uh, our areas. So we are really bringing to life all the different maps and, um, and the data. And obviously, this data is not only for the UN, it's for the entire community. And the idea is to work with the, even the national mapping agencies to bring people together and to leave all this information as a legacy. This is another example in Bambari in the Central African Republic in a different setting and environment. This is what Google Maps is uh, giving us and the, the change is obvious. Um, so we keep growing. And this doesn't stop. As I mentioned, we are working on those five missions. We are hoping to uh, bring more missions together to expand the um, activities to the rest of the African countries, uh, Middle East, all the different um, uh, partners that we, that we have. And, um, and then make it public in a, in a couple of years as well. So it will be uh, for the community. I have just added there a couple of uh, slides with uh, statistics. Uh, they are overwhelming what we've been achieving in the last uh, three, four years. 
we have covered um, land cover and land use data worth of uh, almost the size of Italy. Um, millions and, and millions of records for uh, waterways and highways, and this keeps going on and on. Uh, that's it. So um, thank you very much. Um, please join UN Maps because we are mapping the entire world. We are supporting peace and serving humanity. Thank you very much.